Hello friends, hola amigos. Today I'm going to speak a little bit about the ProPilot system. Welcome to a new video. So the latest Qashqai's come with the ProPilot system uh, that you can recognize a, with a little blue logo on the steering wheel or if you have like me a manual transmission then uh, you don't ha have the typical blue uh, ProPilot button but you, but you have this cruise control button uh, but you also have this uh, little typical button and you will have this steering wheel button that is new um, and today I'm going to show and uh, explain a little bit what this intelligent cruise control or pro pilot really means uh, for your daily driving. So we all know pro pilot system from this little video that uh, plays uh, in loops at your uh, Nissan dealer. So the idea is really simple, when you start the car, you can activate this option. So there we go with the classical animations. So when I activate the system, you can see that it is active right now. It says uh, cruise control on and um, steering assistance on as well. So we have two new icons there above. A steering wheel and uh, this little car with a, a block behind it and that is because you have to set firstly the distance that you want to keep from the car in front of you and I have to say I really had to use to uh, this new system the first uh, hundred of kilometers that I drove with it um, all the passengers uh, became quite sick and I really uh, needed uh, to get used to, to this new way of driving uh, uh, so to speak another new thing as well is that the cruise control already works from 30 kilometers an hour and not longer 70 as before so you even can use it in uh, on slow traffic and um, in the city if that uh, could be useful another nice thing is that uh, with a manual transmission you can change gears without disactivating the um, cruise control so i can um, shift down or shift up and the cruise control still does its job the, this is also the main difference with the real pro pilot system. The real pro pilot system will uh, be able to stop your car and to um, re uh, take off when needed. With the manual trans transmission, of course, uh, at some moment you should um, shift down, and uh, under the, the 30 kilometers an hour, the system won't work any longer. Another uh, funny thing that I uh, only noticed later on is the little lane assist that you see there. The Qashqai drivers know this little uh, option. If activated, it will uh, beep whenever um, getting out of your lane. So I think most of us um, will have it disactivated. But I noticed on this car it is always on. But when I uh, activate it, what I did right now, it becomes green. And then not only it will beep, but it also will correct itself. So it, you won't even be able to get out of your lane, it will steer back. And you can disable it completely in the system setting itself. So back to the um, intelligent cruise control. So the adaptive cruise control is always on. Uh, you can set the distance with um, the button on the steering wheel. You can, however, choose whether you activate the steering assistance or not. So I will activate my cruise control. I pick my distance to the minimum. And after that roundabout right there, I will uh, set my speed as well. So I pass the roundabout. You can see now the steering wheel has become green the line has become green and i can leave the car do its job so 
officially when you do nothing as you can see here after eight seconds the car will warn me that um, I should there it is that I should hold the steering wheel and now it disappears but when I block the car with my knee and I will adjust a little bit the speed to the new speed limit right here change gears to the fifth gear the car and the car picks up again so you would say this is a straight line quite easy to do but there's a little bend ahead and I will show my hands to demonstrate I do that I do strictly nothing so the car is driving strictly by itself right now so you see a little car appearing on the screen that's the car in front of us and one it's out of the detection zone I think it detects up to um, um, 200 meters away it will disappear as the car uh, just took over it drives quicker than me so the car won't uh, brake at all the other way around if I'm closing in on another car it will detect it and when I'm into the 30 meter zone it will starting to brake so another turn ahead I'm still don't touch the steering wheel and for those who think I'm doing it with my knees I will remove them briefly touching nothing so here I will just break a little bit in order not being detected by the speed radar again and as you can see here green lines green steering wheel and uh, the rule is whenever you can see the lines the car should be able to see them as well and it will show you um, the green lines and so it will steer itself when you don't see the lines for yourself well the car won't see them neither and uh, the car won't assist demonstrate now if you want to try to get out of your lane it is really hard to do the car will correct and will push you back every time if you continue to, uh, to do so it will uh, stop assisting and you will hear the audio signal as well a sharp bend here and I will take over because you hear the signal two lanes became one and of course the car doesn't understand what's happening there so I hope you like this video see you in the next one bye bye